Bonjour, my friends. I'm Frankie, and welcome to Club Foodie. I love making condiments from scratch. Most of them are easy to make, tastier, and much fresher. Oktoberfest in Munich is starting this weekend. And what better way to highlight this event by showcasing my sweet and spicy German mustard. This famous Bavarian condiment is a nice dip for pretzels, a spread on sandwiches, and also great with vice versa, a white sausage. So let's get cooking. In a large pot over medium heat, we'll add a large yellow onion that we quartered, two large cloves of garlic cut in half, a couple cups of white vinegar, then apple juice. I know some of you might think, why not using apple cider vinegar instead of white vinegar and apple juice? Simple. We need that sweet and fruity flavor in the background. For more info, read the blog. We'll also add some water, brown sugar, and lots of it, followed by old peppercorns, about 15 of them, five old cloves, then a sprig of rosemary, some allspice, as well as nutmeg, just a little, of course, salt, I'm using kosher for this recipe, and finally, a bay leaf. We'll stir the ingredients, bring the mixture to a simmer, cover, and cook for 15 minutes. When time is up, we'll turn off the heat and let the mixture steep for one hour with the lid on. 16 minutes later, we'll strain the mixture into a colander sitting over a bowl that has been lined with cheesecloth. And be careful, it's still pretty hot. We'll discard the solids and set the liquid aside. Here we have about seven ounces of yellow mustard seeds, which is about a cup, and we'll add the same amount of brown mustard seeds. Make sure your bowl is very big. We'll now pour in the reserved liquid. See, I thought my bowl would be big enough, but it's not. So after switching it for a bigger one, we'll stir well, let it cool to room temperature before covering and transferring to the fridge for three days. So after a few days, we'll transfer the mixture to the bowl of a food processor, but not all at once. We'll start by adding about two and a half to three cups of it and process for one minute. Meanwhile, we'll strain the mixture through a fine sieve sitting over a bowl. Now, we have the mustard seeds separated from the liquid, which we'll be using all of them, but not the liquid though. We won't discard it because we'll be adding to the food processor until we reach a desired consistency. What we'll do next is to add half of the mustard seeds from the sieve, process for a minute or two, and then add the rest. We'll process again for a couple minutes and we'll see that the mixture will turn into a very thick paste. From here, we'll slowly start adding some of the reserved liquid. I'm telling you right now, this is not an exact science and you'll have to use your judgment when it comes to consistency. Be careful not to add too much liquid, otherwise it will turn into a soup. See, this is the perfect consistency. Not pasty and not too thin. That's the way I like mine. But if you prefer yours thinner, add more the reserved liquid. Thinner or not, you won't use all the liquid. This is how much I have left. Spoon the mustard into airtight containers and transfer it to the fridge until needed. And my friends, this is our sweet and spicy German mustard. As you can see, making mustard from scratch isn't as complicated as you might think. Sweet and tangy, with some kick, this is a perfect condiment for vice versa, Liebercäse, pretzels, and more. 
I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!